Hi, this is Aldo from ExcelNinja.com. In this video, we'll be looking at how to create a formula that allows you to do cumulative sales. So a calculation of the running total of, for instance, your unit sales by, you have your unit sales by day, and you just want to see how you're tracking uh, throughout the month. So what you can do is a very simple, a very simple uh, formula. So you just do equal and the, in the first instance in cell S, uh, C4, it will be just equal to B4 to the first day. Then you'll start the running total formula. This will take the form of, you want to add your uh, cell in, your value in C4 and you want to add B5, so what you sold today. So what you sold yesterday to what you sold today. And this gives you a new uh, running total, 37, up until the 2nd of January 2012. So on the 3rd of January 2012, you just want to add uh, this one to that one again. But luckily, we already have the formula. So we just copy Control c We just go to the end of our range control V and there you have it so day by day you just keep adding that value to the previous run in total thereby getting on the 22nd of January 26th of January rather where you have sold a, a, a cumulative total of 889 there's one slight problem with this formula and that is if you happen to need to delete a certain row say for instance this one uh, let's see what happens delete there you go gives you an error message because what you've done you deleted the reference to uh, a cell so there was a reference the cell is gone uh, no more ref no more valid reference so the formula doesn't work uh, it's easily fixable because what you need to do is just control C the last formula that works control V the rest and it's restored but let's say you want to do something that's uh, withstand you deleting rows um, we can create it in a slightly different way more durable let's see so first of all the first day again will be the same as the units on the deck simple as that from then on we use a sum function equals sum and then we basically uh, uh, select that number and then we select the, 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 uh, the second number by going like that and what you need to do is to fix B4 so the cell B where you're starting from where you're running total starts from you need to fix it leave the B5 uh, as a relative reference close parenthesis and off you go so then you copy and paste and again you have your running total what this does um, I'll show you here when you double click on it it shows you what is uh, adding up so again from B4 because you fixed the reference to the latest one B7 uh, we'll go to the next one B4 again all the way down to B8 so in that way if I was to delete one um, row there you go the all the other ones survive just because the it the reference that I was referring to that I was using hasn't uh, been deleted as in I'm using B4 as a um, initial reference for the sum function so two ways of quickly and easy doing a running total.